This is a very difficult question and a question and it's very difficult to elaborate in uh, one and a half minutes. In general, the answer is no, they don't. Uh, what we have to discriminate is um, the huge difference between the general population and the infertile population. IVF babies uh, are made from um, uh, infertile couples, so uh, we should not be comparing the general population to the infertile couple population. Generally, three to five percent of uh, babies born in general population may have some sort of birth defects. Uh, there are some reports uh, that uh, maybe IVF or ICSI is increasing the chance of birth defects, but at the moment there's no particular consensus, although there's probably a feeling that overall this 3 to 5% background risk may be increased by 1% more. Having said that, we have to bear in mind that infertile couples are invariably older couples or couples with uh, some sort of history that may affect uh, the health of their children. And these are couples who wouldn't otherwise uh, become parents without uh, the help of IVF. So there's a lot of investigations going on at the moment. There's a lot of experience gained from all those years of IVF. And what we have to bear in mind is that IVF uh, pregnancies and IVF fetuses are very heavily screened uh, during pregnancy, sometimes before even conception with pregenetic uh, testing in order to eliminate and ensure to eliminate any risks and of course ensure the health uh, and uh, the positive outcome of the pregnancy.